Greetings, I'm Serene Glory, and welcome to part 34 of my run through Manor Lords. It's August and it's pishing rain. Oh, it sounds a bit like Scotland to me. Never mind. And Eichenau, we must be getting close to the point where the field's ready to harvest. In fact, are you harvesting? No, you're ploughing. Yeah, right. But... Yeah, we're close enough to harvest time. I want to make sure we've got the maximum number of families in here. That's us actually committed everyone, every family to a task. And... Okay, so we should get 67 wheat. And a whole six barley. Enough for two pints, maybe. But you... I'm a bit confused by this. So, this year it says we're going to plant wheat. But this year we're getting close to harvesting the wheat. So does this actually mean next year? Does it not... It doesn't synchronise everything. Because does that mean it's fallow this year and it plants barley next year when this one would be fallow. I don't know. Uh, the reason that I'm wondering about that is because mostly about these fields over here. If we have a look at flax fertility, it's not great and I want to get sheep in there and see if that makes a difference. Let's try plant some flax here, see if that happens now. I know that they do plant during the winter. Just a bit confused as to when that should be happening. And again... I want this field to be sown with wheat so that the sheep are moved across into the flax field. We're going to have... Let's just grow some barley here. Next time. Um, yeah. We'll wait and see what happens. Hopefully these sheep will move across uh, into there. When this field is planted. But need to come back obviously next month maybe. And make sure that they're ploughing this field. In fact, who are you? Oh yeah, I thought that was a, an oxen that had been left pasture in there. Uh, guess you must be making your way up there. There, maybe. <laughs> Let's fast forward so that I can watch that, see where it goes. Right. Oh. Did you get tired? Okay, fair enough. Uh, we've got... We were expecting six barley, weren't we? We're getting more than six. That's good to know. No, hang on. No, 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 no. That's probably down to trade. Where's our trading post? Yeah, here we are. Ten barley sat in there. Yeah, come on. Wish the rain would stop so that we could get these brought in. Obviously we can't assign any more families here. Okay, okay. Uh, let's move across to Imnorth for now. And do we have any construction still underway? Yep. Yeah. Over here. I think that's... Uh, and here. 
this wee special burgage plot that's different layout from everybody else. And our large granary is almost done. One more timber will be sufficient. Could add in more families there. Uh, I just noticed the storehouse there as well. Still got all this rubbish over here. Rubbish. All these goods. That should really have been over in this storehouse. Okay. There's something that actually I didn't pay that much attention to, which isn't expecting unexpected. Yeah, we don't have any space in here for a backyard extension. Messed that one up. I'm not doing very well with these. These ones are fine, but this one here. I think I'm going to actually demolish that and do it again. Yeah, fine. Go away. And residential. Because what I wanted to do, obviously, uh, would have, have to be from there. Um, no, that's just going to be the same again. So I can't get a burgage plot in there and have any sort of backyard extension, I don't think. Maybe if we turn it the other way around. No. It's not working. Right, so I don't know what we're going to do with that space then. Puts, um, maybe that's where the tavern could go. That might make a lot of sense. Once again, I can't figure it out. Oh no, it's not quite going to fit, is it? It's just uh, too big. It's, yeah, there we go, we can put it in there. No, there's no way to get it in around those spaces. Come back to that. Uh, okay, it's so a large granaries complete. Plenty of space. How about upgrading some of the burgish plots then to get some more wealth actually, now that we've got a bit more money. What have I done here? Just all vegetable plots, vegetable plots up there, and we've got chicken coops there. Let's do the same again. More chicken. And I need to think about what we're going to stick in over here. I suppose we could go with cobbler straight off. We get the the leather. So maybe that's what we do. Okay, anyway, I've not looked at what do we need to grow we need three burgage plots level three or higher. So that's going to be Quite a way off, I would imagine. You need a tavern first, obviously, and to increase the church level. But the cobbler needs to come first then, definitely. What does the cobbler require? If we make you the cobbler. Only have five regional wealth and five planks, which we have. Thank you, what a save. Let's go ahead then and Build the cobbler. And T 
take you off um, market stalls. Right, and should I get the tavern just now? We don't have the infrastructure to create ale. I suppose we could import barley, but we don't have export goods. We don't make enough cash to import barley, so we mm. just need to carry on with that, build up these and work our way up. Obviously the cobbler will be a good a good enough first step. Right, back across here. How are things up in our fields? You're completely emptied. What do we have in here? 42 grain. Let's do this way. Uh, wheat, sorry. We don't have much barley and we still don't know You're ploughing to plant wheat, I would guess. I do not know what you're planting. You haven't been ploughed properly. I'm not leaving you fallow now, we're pushing back into wheat. And then fallow there. Hopefully, you're coming in to ploughing season. Sheep are all moving up there at least, that's one good sign. Pasture space of zero, pasture space there of zero. So these should both be planted in. And hopefully the fertility up there will increase. This has improved a bit. Not hugely so. But we're okay. And we've also got one more family than we had before. Cobbles is done. Right. Um, how about more families down in here. Okay, that's another couple of burgage plots in up in this area. We've got a well there that's not too far away. We might need another well. Um, right. Fair enough, let's bring us a road that would just come up to the well. We could do that. And if we get the well, you need to be back in. There, okay, right. So bring a road up. I'm not sure whether that will work. You snap to that. Oh, you will, but you're not quite in the right place. So a bit more road then. Out there, you should do. And stick you there. I think what we'll do with the burgage plots here is run them down in this direction. So, burgage plot from the well. Maybe down to about there. And do we just put in two? I think we'll just try it. If we did that, just two, we get the extra families in, so that would give us four. 
Yeah. That's good enough. Okay, not all of our sheeps have gone where the sheeps are meant to. I still got some in here as well. I'll wander off eventually, I'm sure. Right, 67 wheat. What about barley? We've got a couple malt in there. Just one here. Okay. Good enough to upgrade some of these to level 3. Let's continue up towards the centre town. Upgrade you. Is that the only one that's viable just now? Yeah, I guess probably short on planks again. Yeah. Check out our military. We've got 22 small shields and 10 large only. We're making small shields still. Yeah. I don't think I can afford to stop exporting these small shields to give me some a chance to build up a stock of logs or planks, sorry. Construction is out four. Right. Well, obviously need to leave that for now. This field still being ploughed. Do we have livestock assigned here? We've got Heinz ploughing somewhere. Here must be right. Anyway, we've got families in there, supposedly doing the milling and the baking. And we've seen of it immediately. So sort of forest are doing now. While I notice, I'm sure I set you a target zone last time out. Right, let's do it again for good measure. Let's expand it, keep you busy for a while longer. Something like that. Okay, we've got four months of fuel. And this woodcutter. I'm wondering about relocating that. We've got uh, this one. I think I'm going to relocate this. Bring it down. Do I want it in around there? We've got Woodcutter's Lodge up there and down here. It's just too far away from our forester up there to be... Well, hang on. Maybe that's what we'll do next, actually. Forget that. Just leave you where you are and we'll make sure that you've got a work area. Like so. And this would cut our your work area is going to be in there. And we're into Voldebrand for some reason. I can now yeah, no bread. Plenty of wheat. I don't know how much wheat we're going to get from there or there. It's not giving us a forecast at all. Uh, 
Who to be left fallow? You to grow barley. Well, you've got barley coming in. I'm going to leave you fa fallow as well. Let's see one about work. That one was in harvest. You being ploughed. You being ploughed. Yep. All right. I mean, Ruth. We've got the cobbler done here. You can go ahead, and make shoes. And large storehouse, you're accepting shoes. We've got 65 leather, so that's great. That'll keep you busy for a long time. Again, I should... I should maybe have just made that one dwelling and had the cobbler there on its own. A bit late now to think of that. Fair enough. 215 planks. Need to make use of them. Here comes the rain again. And... Doesn't look, look like anyone's ready for upgrade yet. Oh no, here we are. Expand living space or upgrade to level 2. We don't need to expand the living space. We've got four free plots just now. So go ahead and upgrade you. Yeah, I think we will have a tavern in here. Right next to church. Why not? Up here would be another option for it. It's not too far, especially if we put it here. If we don't want to have it right next to the church, but I think we probably will. There's no reason not to. It doesn't cause any unhappiness or anything. No, oh, our taxes increased again. It's up to 278. We've got 22 regional wealth here only. And that would be enough for another vegetable plot, mind you. You have peoples. Let's go ahead then. Get a vegetable garden in there. Fire. Quick, quick. Let's hope nobody dies. What are we at? 63 people. <laughs> Crash. Oh, we've had a birth. Yeah, there we go. Chicken survived as well. Didn't lose anyone. All good. Well, it will be when that's rebuilt. Right. Fuel for three months. Did I? I did. Remove a family from the woodcutter. Get, get you back to work. And assign you a work area up in there. Timber, we've got 62. Bring you back down one. You should be fine as you are. I don't know if any boots now. Presumably they're being sold in here somewhere. A pair of boots there. Uh, five there. Right, and if we check in here, yep, clothing, we've got enough to keep people happy, just need the church upgraded and the tavern built and supplied. Is it worth upgrading this? We need the roof tiles, 
so we need to get that set up as well. Maybe that's what we do next. We've got our clay, de oh no, clay deposits out here. We've already got the road coming out in this direction. So let's have you set up to accept um, clay. I think we'll have the putter in here. Yeah, because if we set it up over uh, there, we've got to haul firewood out that direction. So we don't want to do that. So, uh, industry, I would imagine. The clay furnace. Yeah, just have it in here. Yeah, happy with that. You do store firewood. Let's not store clay and see how we get on with that. So if the clay gets brought directly from the other storehouse into here when it's required, Just it's such a long walk, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Again, I can keep an eye on it and I can open that up to uh, yeah, to clay later on if need be. Okay. Back across here. Still got sheep scattered all over. You're ploughing. Your fallow. This was one that was ploughed. No, that was ploughed. Right. Yes, yeah, so that field was ploughed in August. And now it's fallow. We can leave this one as fallow. And I suppose next year. Well, there's there's no fertility there. That's terrible. You're growing wheat just now. You'll be growing barley. Maybe get you into wheat next year. Give that a try. Flax. And here are all these sheep back in here. This is meant to be wheat this year. And this is fallow. Zero pasture space, and you should still have zero pasture space. Yeah, okay. This should be something that I could set up and then just leave it, but I suppose maybe I've just never got my head around it properly. But having two sowing periods a year, like sowing for winter crops, it's just. It's not intuitive. Uh, in terms of how, how do you know what's going to happen next? Anyway, ignore that for now. These are being constructed, or they will be eventually. Do you have con oh, thank you for saving. Do you have construction happening somewhere else? Are you taking logs? Oh, yes, I was upgrading here. That's maybe where the logs are heading. Fair enough. So it's probably 
time for a break. 112 wealth, much lower than it was in the past. Uh, maybe we should start doing a bit more exportation. What was I exporting before? Uh, firewood, I think. And obviously bringing in more barley than we did before. Export some eggs. No, exporting our slabs. We've got plenty of firewood. We could export some of that. And commodities. Still exporting some tools, some shoes. Right. I, th I don't think we're going to dip into the negative. I think we're okay. Up here. Yeah, you're being built. You're being built. Fair enough. Time for a break. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please leave me a comment, rate the video, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content, and I hope to see you again next time. Cheers.